The primary herpetic gingivitis stomatitis is infection of oral cavity. caused by herpes simplex virus type 1 so primary herpetic gingival stomatitis is basically uh, acute gingival infection and in this video i will be talking specifically about primary herpetic gingival stomatitis and uh, i will be putting the link of my previous video in the description so let's talk about the incidence of primary herpetic gingival stomatitis. It is the most common in infants and younger children probably of uh, 6 years old and occurs in both male and female. And its primary infection is asymptomatic. So let's discuss about the clinical features of primary herpetic gingival stomatitis. So initially there will be appearance of spherical gray vesicles which occur on gingiva, labial and buccal mucosa, soft palate, pharynx, sublingual mucosa and tongue leading to ulcers. So appearance of primary herpetic gingival stomatitis there will be so gingiva will be diffuse, erythematous, and shiny. In oral mucosa there will be edema and gingival bleeding. This disease usually lasts for 7 to 10 days. And there is presence of fever which uh, on thermometer it will be around 38 to 40 degrees centigrade. Along with these signs there will be some other symptoms which are soreness, decrease or we can say poor oral hygiene, there will be pain, and in infants they will refuse to take food so there will be low intake of food low food intake so now i am going to show you some of the pictures of uh, this uh, disease so that you guys have idea that how it clinically presents picture of a 12 year old male with diffuse erythematous involvement of the gingiva and spherical gray vesicles on the lip and in this picture there is involvement in the tongue you can see these uh, vesicles let's come to the diagnosis so diagnosis is by history patient's history clinical findings and biopsy treatment of this disease depends uh, on the day which patient has arrived if it's diagnosed within uh, three days then the treatment option will be lignocan topical lignocan for pain relief or we can use s slower 50 mg per kg five times a day for five to seven days or otherwise we can also use topical antiviral drugs such as S slober cream 5% or penis slober cream 3% applied three to five times a day and if the patient reports after three days then we have following treatment options first of all we should remove food debris remove food debris use of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs and periodontal therapy should be done after acute symptoms subside and that's the end of this video if you guys have any questions regarding today's lecture please leave them in the comment section 
I will be replying them. Subscribe Smart K3 Dentistry for more dentistry related videos like these. And thank you so much guys for watching.